All right, uh, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Um, now, I just wanted to, uh, to little, do a little bit of a, of a commentary on, um, on this comment I got here. Uh, somebody left this on one of the videos. Um, now, the reason I took a screenshot of it is um, because in case for whatever reason, right, uh, for whatever reason, if the internet didn't work, when I had free time, I would have it already saved so I could just show it instead of having to be on the internet to, uh, to get to it. And I also want to point out that YouTube restricted me from commenting on it. What I, ha what I did... Or what happened, whatever way you want to say it. I um, did two comments to the video. Uh, or not to the video, to the comment as a response. I checked back two minutes later and the comments aren't there. So I left one comment. I came back two minutes later, wasn't there. So I typed it the same thing again. And guess what? They weren't there the next time I looked. So I was like, okay, instead of... Uh, instead of... Um, doing a comment response to it why don't i just do a video response to it so that's exactly what i'm going to uh be doing here now i first want to show something real quick bear with me a second let's lock you okay uh this is the book of matthew chapter 10 and verse 27 what well, i tell you in darkness that speak ye in light what ye hear in the ear that preach ye upon the housetops. Now, does that literally mean to go stand on the roofs of houses and stuff? And the answer to that is no. Okay? That's talking about whatever these scriptures teach. We are to openly teach about it, whether it be out on the highways and byways or coming on the internet, the World Wide Web, and sharing this message, which is what we're doing. So there's some topics in the scriptures that are controversial, um, some, you know, like say for an example, you know, Christians, they don't deal with the controversial stuff of the scriptures. They don't deal with that. But we do, because we don't mind being the controversial ones. Okay, the Lord said, uh, what is that, Matthew 11 and 6, for blessed is the man who is not offended in me. Okay, so, so wait a second. Why would Christ say that if his message was not to offend people? If his message was just all love and, and nothing offenseful, right, nothing that would cause division, then why would he say that? But anyway, that's besides the point of the lesson. I just wanted to uh, respond to this guy uh, named Scribble. Um, and this guy, this is so foolish that he actually admits that we're right. But then he says that we're wrong. So let me say that again. This guy admitted in his own comment that what we're saying is correct. But then he goes on his own opinion and why he thinks it's wrong. But the point of the matter is he admits that what we're saying is correct before he even gets into the uh, the rebuttal, so to speak, right, quote-unquote. Anyway, he says, a scribble to end-time teachers, says, biologically speaking, yes, anyone who is sexually mature is considered an adult. Wait a second, he just admitted and said that, yes, biologically speaking, that anybody who has hit puberty is an adult. So he knows that biologically, which, what is something that's biological? Something that's biological is just the way that the, uh, that the Most High created the world. Okay, created things to, uh, to be that way. Okay, anything that's biologic or biological is just the natural order of things. So he admits that going by the natural order of things, that what we're saying is correct. Uh, uh, correct, Salakia. However, uh-oh, uh-oh, and here's where uh, it starts to get stinky, so to speak. This is, this is where he speaks a lot of bullshit, okay? However, by a societal and neuro neurological standards, someone who is 18 or older can only be considered an adult. So what he's doing is he just said... By societal, as in by, by legal means, as in what a society makes up, you're not an adult, you're this number. So again, this, this fool, 
I'm going to call him what he is. The word fool means unlearned. So he is absolutely unintelligent. He might have good intentions, but he is sincerely wrong. Okay, so again, this fool admitted in his own comment that what we're saying is correct going by human biology. But when you deal with legal, as in anything that's legal or illegal, is simply just a threat by a rich group of people. It's not backed up with fact. It's just a belief that somebody made up. So he's saying that, yes, according to fact, you guys are, are, you guys are correct. But going by what somebody made up, you're wrong. Now, he's not going to admit that that's what he's saying because that sounds so foolish. And he doesn't want to make a jackass out of himself. But that's truly what he's saying. Okay, that's truly what this this day damn devil demon inside joke is is saying. Um, then he says, just because their bodies are ready to carry a child does not mean they are mentally prepared. Okay, good. However, you have some grown women in this society who are 20, 25 years old, right? 20, 25 years old, who are not really capable of taking care of their own children. But they still have them, right? Now, again, let me say this. We're not out here saying to go out and sleep with a woman under the uh, the legal, so-called legal age of consent in the state you live in. We're not saying that. We simply are just saying that according to the Bible and nature, that that's what the Bible says. That's what it says. So that's why I quoted Christ at the beginning of the video where he said, Blessed is the man who is not offended in me. Okay, so we teach whatever the scriptures say, whether it be... Um, you know, controversial or, um, it's a word I'm looking for, whether it be controversial, uh, and whether it uh, offends people. We still have to teach it because that's what the scriptures say. Uh, let's see. He says, forcibly having children at a young age, whether the bride realizes it or not, can be mentally scarring to them and lead to an array of mental of medical issues well for one um i'd actually argue and refute that because um for all human history women have always had children at about 12 to 14 15 years old that's just something that's natural and if it wasn't natural then why is their bodies able to have children now the reason why sometimes it ends up you know with with uh with problems is because a lot of the places that that happens where young women have children is in third world countries where they have a lot of diseases and, um, you know, m malnutrition, I, I guess we could call it. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? They're, um, they, you know, they don't really have the right food to eat over there. And, you know, the, 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 you know, everything's messed up over in those places, which usually just goes back to America, but that's another story. Uh, we, we're not going to get into that. But anyway, um, you can just do the research. Okay, you can do the research. So what he's saying here is, uh, once again, bullshit as well. As he said, you know, the scriptures say a, a fool has deceived himself to think that he's wise. You know what I'm saying? So this guy thinks he's so intelligent. But when we compare the facts, if what he's saying, he clearly just doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, let's see. Listen here, then he says, children and teens cannot properly consent. Don't excuse these horrible practices with, oh, if a 16-year-old can have a period, that means there's no difference between them and an 18-year-old. Wait a second, you're telling me there's actually a difference between a person who's 16 and 18? That's an illogical fallacy. <laughs> there is no evidence for that. And I asked him, I was going to ask him a question, but again, the comment wouldn't go through. That this just this dude infuriates me so badly. It just I can't even understand how somebody could actually sit there and type this comment in without thinking to themselves, "Wait a second, does that even make any sense?" So you're telling me a 16-year-old can't consent, but they can't consent to have sex, but they can drive a car, right? They can drive a car that can kill multiple different people in a matter of 10 seconds. Right, that, that perfectly is logical. They can't consent to have sex, though, but they can drive a vehicle that can kill multiple people. That makes sense, according to this simple-ass peon. Okay? Damn devil, man. Uh, how stupid can you be? Oh, I, as Loving Christian would say, stupid can you be? I mean, how stupid can you be? <laughs> Inside joke. 
which I'm just messing with that brother. I'm just messing with that brother. I, 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 hey, there, there's no beef between us. As um, as uh, oh, what was it? Um, oh, what was his name? Uh, I can't think of it. But he told um, in that ERB battle, he told uh, Stan Lee. That there is no beef between us. So yeah, man, uh, loving Christian eight, there ain't no beef between us, man. You're you're on point. You're on point. Sometimes you just gotta be sarcastic. <laughs> All right, just to point that out. Uh, but yeah, there is no difference between a person who's sixteen and eighteen. That that's just an illogical fallacy. Second of all, uh, my question would be, well, wouldn't an eighteen year old and a nineteen year old be teens and not an adult? Because the reason why they call them teens is because they have a uh, teen. And the number of how old they are. So how is an 18-year-old and a 19-year-old an adult if they have the word teen and how old they are? But you see, you guys didn't really think of that before, though. So you see, you guys want to talk shit to us, but yet you are absolutely refuted by your own belief. So, th I mean, this has been a spiritual knockout. I mean, somebody call in a stretcher, right? Somebody call in the Ambalam. <laughs> Somebody call the Ambalam. All right, because this, this guy just got KO'd. KO. Knockout. Spiritual KO. I mean, Jesus, man. Is this dude. Hey, look, Yasha. Slocky about that. Yasha. Just gave this guy a spiritual KO. That's all I can say. This has been an absolute slaughter. Okay, this, I mean, I don't even know what to say. Other than K-O. Alright, there ain't, there's no damn difference between a 18-year-old and a 16-year-old. None, zero, nada. There is no difference. So again, according to your belief, a 16-year-old can't consent to have sex, right? Even though their body is set up to make them want to do that at 16, right? But that same person, they can drive a vehicle that can kill multiple different people. That's perfectly safe, though. That's okay to do. They can consent to that, but they can't consent to, you know, do something that their body is hardwired to want to do. And then the only thing they can do to back it up is, well, it's just the law. As in, the law is something holy and righteous and not just, you know, a threat by a rich group of people. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, read the book by the name of the most dangerous superstition by Larkin Rose. Okay? Anyway, he said, They are not mentally prepared to have a child. And we're forced into these practices. Child marriage, well, for one, we're not even talking about child marriage because a child is a person who's in between birth to puberty, according to the dictionary in your own language. So, once again, spiritual knockout. Okay, I mean, this is, as I said, somebody call in the Ambalam. Okay, somebody call in an Ambalam. Okay, and someone get that funeral service ready. And obviously, I'm just being sarcastic with that. Somebody's going to cut the clips up to make it look like I'm putting out a front out there. Right, just like that damn devil demon, Angie Ashby. He took the clip of me saying that we're going to cut this guy with the scriptures and he just played back the part that said, I'm going to cut this guy to make it look like I was actually putting out a threat against him himself. Just as a, as a damn, you know, just to try to make us look bad. That's what they do. All right. So don't be surprised if they cut that up to make it look like I'm saying something I'm not. Obviously, I'm just being sarcastic with this demon. Okay. Anyway. So again, you're wrong. The word child. We're not even talking about childs or children's. By definition, it says child marriage is a problem. Do your research before trying to defend pedophilia. As I said, man, this this simple ass peon got absolutely slaughtered. I mean, this this was, I would say, I have not seen a sucker this soft since Benicula. I have not seen a sucker this soft since Benicula. I mean, th this is even um, what's this guy's name? Even Donna McHills put up a better argument than this dude. And, I mean, don't get me wrong. Donna McHills has um, less taste than an Anne Rice cake. That's true. He has less taste than an Anne Rice cake. 
But with that being said, I still have to give him credit that he put up a better argument than this simple ass peon. All right. Because for one, <laughs> we're not even defending pedophilia because by definition, by definition, the word pedophile means a person who is attracted, right, an adult who is attracted to children. The word child or children means a person who is in between birth to puberty. The word adult, if you look up the word adult, it means they'll tell you that biologically an adult is a person who has hit puberty. Uh, it says a person or an organism who is sexually mature. That's what a, a adult is according to the English dictionary, according to human biology. Then it says the legal, which now you're just getting into something that somebody made up. So you can't really use that to argue your statement because it's just made up. Okay, it's just a belief that a group of people made up. So to use something that's legal or illegal to try to defend your belief is an illogical fallacy because it's something that somebody just made up. For an example, right? Uh, four months ago, you could buy cigarettes at 18. Now, magically, you have to be 21. So you see their law, and I say the law sarcastically because it's all bullshit. But it shows you it all changes because it's just something that somebody makes up. So you cannot use made-up information to argue against facts. So once again, spiritual slaughter, absolute KO. Somebody get an ambulance ready and a stretcher and a funeral service for this simple-ass peon. I mean, this brother, I, I knocked this brother up to, to space uh, around the moon twice and back down to Earth. I mean, this is just, I, I, as I said to him in, in the comment I tried to leave him, that his ignorance is astounding. His pure contradictory is astounding. I, I can't, I, I haven't seen a sucker this soft since Ben Nicola. That's all I can say about how foolish this guy is. You're telling me to go do my research? Well, as I said, man, you, you're clearly proven wrong by research. So, I mean, what the hell are you talking about? Simple ass peon. All right, you, you don't really know anything about anything to begin with. Okay, and all you go by is how you feel about shit. Okay. So, once again, as I said, you know, this is this is not sexual advice. I'm simply just saying that the Bible teaches that, you know, it's okay to have sex when you hit puberty. That's in the Bible. And we've done multiple lessons going over and proving that in the scriptures. So if you can't accept that, well, then you're going off. There is one truth. There are many lies, but there is one truth. Let me say that again. There are many lies, but there is one truth. There are many lies, but there is one truth. And if you're not teaching that truth, well, then you're teaching a lie. It's that simple. Okay. So, once again, this, this guy, hey, you're going against the facts, my brother. Okay, now I got nothing against you as an individual. You could be a truly nice guy in real life, but hey, you are absolutely refuted with your preposterous beliefs. That's all I'm going to tell you. Okay? Um, could this guy be an Israelite or could he be a brother? That He could be. He could be. But even if he is, he's sincerely wrong and he's taking the word of Yehobashim Yehoshai and twisting it. And to making it into darkness. That's what he's doing. Okay? Somebody's going to argue and say, Well, Yasha, you didn't provide any scriptures to prove your point. Well, if you go on my page and just look up uh, Age of Consent in the Bible, you'll find multiple videos where we go into it. So there's no excuse to not watch them. Okay? Um, and if you don't want to watch them, well, the First Corinthians, the 7th chapter, uh, first. uh 36 and then uh, the book of Ezekiel, the 16th chapter, I started the 8th verse and read on down from there. But the point of the matter is this brother got an absolute KO, spiritual knockout. Somebody called the Ambalam and get this brother a stretcher and prepare the funeral service. Obviously, I'm being sarcastic. But anyway, you know, I hope this guy learned from that mistake. And as I said, let's use this guy as an example. Same thing with, with Ridge Speaks. All right, let's use him as an example on their talk about Sunday law, Sunday law. The market of beast is the, uh, the microchip. 
Okay, that's what the mark of, of the beast is. Okay? If anybody made it this far into the video, put uh, hashtag... Um, put hashtag scribble in the, uh, the, <laughs> in the comment section down below. Right? Uh, but anyway, hashtag scribble. That being said, gonna say shalom.